Hi everyone, this is Paul from The Outdoor Adventure and today we're going to take a look at Gander Mountain's Northern Light 10 tent with vestibule. So this is a uh, car camping tent. This is a big heavy beast. It's designed to go to your campsite. You set it up. It's got two rooms and a nice vestibule area with netting. We're going to take a look at it and as we set it up we'll talk a bit about the features. So the Gander Mountain 10 person tent comes with a vestibule. It can be easily set up by one person as we're doing here. What's really nice is that all the pieces are color coded so that you know which corner hub goes with which pole. It's really easy to follow, really easy to set up. The floor size is listed as 12 foot by 12 foot and then on top of that you have a 12 by 6 vestibule. The center height is 6 foot 8 inches tall. The weight is 43 pounds and 14 ounces so pretty heavy although the carrying case for the tent does have wheels on the back and it says it has a capacity for sleeping 10. It's a freestanding straight wall frame. It's got a high ceiling right to the edges. It's got windows on all sides for ventilation. It's got shock cords that hook to the frame. It comes with guy lines to hold it down in a storm. It's got a removable seam sealed fly. It covers the frame in the top, but not all the sides. It doesn't go right to the ground. There's a bathtub floor with welded seams, except for one, and we'll talk about that. On top of that, you've got a little waterproof entrance for an electrical cord, some kind of outlet if you're gonna be uh, camping with electricity nearby. It's got an easy attach buckled down fly. It's got two corner gear storage shelves, two storage pockets on the sides of the tent built in, a room divider, and a daisy chain if you wanna hang light stuff across the tent. What's really impressed us with this tent is the ease of setup and how much space you have. This is a massive tent that gives you plenty of room for a family of six or more. It gives you plenty of space to hunker down if the weather's bad. The abundance of windows and ventilation means you get a really nice breeze. It keeps you cool in, even in warm weather. It really is a small home. So let's give you another perspective on this tent. So in addition to the tent and the, the vestibule and the fly, You've got inside, you've got a wall right here that goes right down the middle and divides it into two rooms. And uh, on top of that, you've got two little gear storage areas. And I'll just uh, install one of them so you can see what that looks like. So we found it sufficient enough to, to put in all of our little pocketable stuff. And uh, we used the one in the front here to host our uh, electronics for our solar system. When we use this, and we're gonna be there for a while, what we'll do is we'll set up our solar system. So we'll put a panel on the vestibule and we'll put some lights on the inside and we'll use the little uh, power po uh, plug-in. There's a little access point on the side of it so you can put a power uh, cord in there. We use it to put the solar lines in there. Then we get lighting inside. As you can see, the mesh uh, roof means there's lots of ventilation. There's three windows, one on each side, as well as two double doors, uh, D doors on the front to get you in and out of this thing. Tons of space. Just to give you an idea, we can put two cots sideways, long-wise, along here, and uh, our uh, sleeping bag right on top of this thing. And it's still able to put the wall up in the middle. We can easily put two adults on one side. We can put four kids on this side and still have room for all their gear and all their equipment and, uh, and a lot of stuff that we're gonna need. And that's not even counting all the underbed space if you use a cot like we do. Give you an idea, because it's got four peaks right in the corner, I can stand up and I'm about five foot 10, five foot 11. Still have about probably six feet in the middle, easy. For walking without having to worry about. I can get right to here in the corner, which I'm about maybe three feet from the corner here uh, before my head touches. I haven't put the vestibule on because it makes the lighting really weird for videos. I guess I should put up the little um, interior wall to give you guys a look.
And there you have it. So a nice wall down the middle and I'll give you another angle. I'll even put out our sleeping bag. Uh, I'll even put out our sleeping bag so you can see how much space there is. Overall, we've been impressed with the construction. We've taken it out a couple times this summer and tested it out. And it's performed really well in typical conditions. Um, that said, we were out in some pretty nasty rain. And I'm going to switch you to uh, the video inside the tent now so you can get an experience of what it was like and how much rain was coming down. So I'm in my Gander Mountain tent here. And it's pretty wet. So I wanted to see, uh, let you know how it works. Let's see. I had to uh, spray the seams because water, like you see right here, it gets, sits right in there and the seams aren't sealed so I had to spray them to keep the rain out. Before that, before that, we had water on the inside over here. I'm gonna move the kids' stuff away from the edge. Ugh. Looks like we got a bit of water here, but I think that's from the water bottle. Regardless, I'm gonna keep stuff away from the edge. Tons of space. How you doing? The vest feels good except that water puddling. Ugh. It's coming through the mesh, isn't it? And we're getting kind of flooded out. All right, should we go out? Yeah. Are you dry on your jacket? Yeah. Good. And those in way. All right, so here's the result of maybe an hour and a half of that kind of rain. Yeah, there's a little gear there. Uh, pockets but we got water there we got stuff in the corners over there there's one seam in this tent where the bathtub floor connects it's about 10 inches off the ground where the tent is attached to the bathtub floor like this and stitched through and it's the only seam that isn't seam sealed or seam taped and because of that rain does come through there so that's something to take in mind if you're gonna take this tent out and you're expecting foul weather you're gonna to need to go over that and seam seal it. I've told the manufacturer and they're happy to hear my feedback about that. And the other thing I would note is that the bathtub floor is a lighter fabric. When we used it for a week without a tarp underneath, we wore a small spot in the floor. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna be going out with pretty much any tent that you're going to a campsite with hard ground, there might be rocks or gravel underneath it. Make sure you bring an extra tarp to, to sacrifice underneath it because with all that wearing and the kids and walking on it, it's gonna chafe and rub through and you're gonna get holes in the bottom of your tent. So as far as ease of setup, I would give this thing about a, an eight out of 10. And as far as comfort and space, again, I'd give it another really high score, eight out of 10 on that. Though I would recommend reinforcement underneath the base of the tent, as well as you'll probably want to uh, seam seal that seam underneath. Any tent that I have, I will spray down with a silicone waterproofer. When it comes to a seam that's been sewn like this, you're gonna wanna uh, put a, a bead of silicone uh, seam sealer right along the outside of that to prevent that water from coming through. Like I said, when it rained lightly, I didn't have any problems. It was only when I had some pretty extensive torrents that uh, it managed to penetrate and go through. All in all, I'd say this is a great tent for camping, especially if you're car camping and you need something for a bigger family, or you just want a bit of luxury when you're out. Uh, definitely check it out. Thanks again to Gander Mountain for sending us this tent to try out. We really appreciate 
the opportunity and we will be using this in the years to come.